All right, welcome back to Ramjet Week. This monstrosity was the second Ramjet figure I bought when when I started collecting Transformers, and this is from the geez, is it from the Revenge of the Fallen line or is it from the movie line? One of those, and it is an ugly piece of crap. Um, it's got a neat I don't know if neat's the right word. It's got a decent looking head, and I like that they gave it the you know the white and maroon colors of Ramjet, but but I was never really a big fan of the m movies or the designs, but again, because Ramjet, I bought this, and because of Ramjet, I've kept it. This thing has missile launchers here, which is great, except the buttons are really easy to push, and so it fires, or is, is this the part that, oh yeah, it's got a little, it's got a little delay here. Lever, come on, focus on the right part. There we go. That you can you can adjust so it is or is not next to the the things. So, so when you spin this, it, it does trigger the missile launchers. That's great. Um, it's got that little flip out thing on both arms so that you can store the missiles. And so far, I haven't lost any of mine. Again, it's got the white, white and dark gray charcoal look of ramjet but and you know there are the wings but it's it's a movie thing so I mean, what in the hell is that it doesn't look like a robot i'm not even going to try to transform this on camera like i did the other one because i'm not even sure if i remember how um posability is it worth talking about it's got elbows sort of it's got shoulders outward uh, bicep swivels wrist swivels it's not like it has hands can't hold any weapons. Its hands are weapons. Um, it does have thigh or hips. I didn't even know that those moved. It's got a little bit of outward. If this doesn't plug in tightly, then it falls out. And actually, this one's just a little bit loose. Uh, it's got reverse knees, which means it can move in weird ways. It's got claws. It's pretty stable. I like that, but. Um, but let's get this thing in jet mode because it looks better that way. Scene transition. Actually, let's do talk about the transformation a little bit while I try and model my way through it. Um, I do like how these pieces separate. And there's a bit of, uh, what do they call it, automorph? Or something where moving this down and moves these things around. And actually these... These head, uh, I don't know, whatever these bits are that are up by his head always get in the way for the transformation for me, so I always pull them off. Uh, I like that's the little, this little soft rubber thing is how you cover up the head. Yeah, that robot's in disguise indeed. Um, but pull this down and it, it does something here. It separates the bits and maybe I have to have these pulled out first. I don't know. I... I know that the leg folds away in there somehow, but honestly, I can't quite remember how. I don't remember if I have to do it before or after moving the wings. So things are getting in the way. I mean, this is a complicated... And I don't really have anything against complicated transformations. I just I haven't done this in so long. I don't remember what I'm doing. This thing's been sitting on my shelf in jet mode since... I don't know, what year did this figure come out? 2009? Since 2009. I probably haven't transformed it since then. There we go. Almost. Hopefully I'm not rubbing things together and breaking them. These, I know, fold... Uh, yeah, I think I've done this in the wrong order or something. Oh, this folds down more so that I can go back. Okay, well, I'll try and do the rest of this off camera and hope I don't break anything. Alright, and not embarrassingly long later, Ramjet is transformed. It is both an approximation of an F-22 Raptor, I believe is what the movie Jets Seekers were based off of, and it's an approximation of Ramjet. If we pull out the uh, Hen K from last week, it follows the same basic design cues where it's got a white fuselage, it's got the maroon wings, which I appreciate, it's got the standy up tails, they're appropriately black, like the G1 figure, not chrome. Uh, it's got missiles slung underneath it. It's got intake, sort of. 
This figure is not as even as good as I remembered. Um, the wings here, I don't know if it's because it's been posed in robot mode for eight years that it doesn't it doesn't really want to hold together in some of these modes until you get all the tabs in. It was kind of maybe part of it is I didn't have the arms. The arms peg into that and the shoulder or the inner arm and the inner arm also pegs into the main body. And before I had that, this thing it's this part just kept wanting to kind of spring free. Uh, now it's not doing it, of course, so that's appreciative. This one doesn't want to stay pegged in though, but it's not popping free as much as the other one is. It's just it's fiddly and stuff was in the way transforming it. The legs, the arms were in the way of the legs, and if you don't get the legs folded away perfectly, then the arms don't clip in right. Uh, it's got this thing, a little bit of a rubber a rubber uh, wheel that's geared to the rocket launchers. And again, if you have this clip down or tab down, then and the missiles are in there, then when you spin this or roll it, then the, the missiles will launch. That's kind of a neat little gimmick, I guess. But these things don't snap or plug or stick into place in any way, so they just are free to move around. These are annoying when you transform them. They get in the way of the arms a lot. Again, head. I'm not terribly worried by kibble a whole lot. But, you know, peekaboo, at least you know, make it big enough to cover up the head, unless the idea was that his eyes are staring there out at you. Um, this thing should have light piping. I don't have any uh, small flashlights I can use to demonstrate the light piping, but the feet get in the way, so it's not going to work. There we go. Now that's in the way. But it kind of shows up a little bit here and there. It's not the best example of it, but anyway, so that's uh, uh, let's call it Revenge of the Fallen Ramjet because I'm too lazy to look up to see if it was actually Transformers the movie. It looks all right in jet mode, I guess. I mean, it's based off of a cool looking jet and it's got the cool coloring that I like, but I don't know, it's just it's not, it's not, I don't like it as much as I did however many years ago when I bought it. It's been hiding in the back of my shelf, and it's probably going to go back to the back of the shelf. Tune in next time for a different Ramjet. A third-party Ramjet. Wow, I hope this isn't too overexposed. I haven't quite figured out the lighting in my little studio here yet. But Anyway, thanks for watching. Ramjet week will continue in... You know, next week, I guess, or tomorrow. I guess I'm going to try and release these every day.